I'm gonna try to do this, I'm trying to do this pretty quickly because they're doing um they're they stop right now. I don't know if they're gonna get back on to it, but they're doing still doing work on the bathroom that's right next to my bedroom door. And also I have a lot of books written in the library. So this is a six books, and all of these are by the same author. Technically, one of them is you'll one that you'll see is not te technically by him. Um, I'm gonna show them right away. And also, I did. Oh no, I'm naming this um, finally or something like that. Oh, I had a good one, but oh, I don't believe how good I made out or something like that. But even then, I don't know. I, I'm trying to do. I, I know it sounds stupid, but I'm trying to do that thing again where I. Uh, and it has been too successful. It's both about the fall. It has been too successful, but the reason why I got so many views on the Thieves of Thieves trade view overview, whatever the hell, I'll probably, probably change that name too. Um, because I, I named it. I can't believe I got this, or I can't believe how it was. No, it was. Um, I finally got this. That's what it was. So, some something along those lines. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. They already failed, and uh oh. Why does that feel like? Oh come on back inside. Alright, I gotta go. Alright. The Pro by Garth Ennis. Spoilers, these are all, these are all by Garth Ennis. Jimmy, Pal Jimmy Palmiotti uh, writes with him too. It's a co-authored. Co-authored? Yeah, no, oh, inks. Inks. So he says he's, he's the artwork. Along with Amanda Connor. Here's the artwork really quickly. Here's the artwork. And this is the thinnest image comic strip. This is so thin that looking at it from my from the camera view, I can barely see if I do it like this. It has a thin book. It was only seven ninety nine though. But yeah, super thin. And what, what really pisses me off about this book is that they could have added in. I don't know if this they came out before or after. So it came out. It came out after this trade did. I'm fine, but they should have included Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. That's the only thing by Garth Ennis Image Comics I don't own right now. And it's only because I. It's only because I. I don't include Spawn because Sean Lewis. The only, only only comic from Image Comics I don't own of Sean Lewis's is Spawn. And that, the reason for why that is because I'm so far behind on Spawn. Even if I get the compendiums, all the collections are out right now. There's the spin-offs, there's the tie-ins, there's this and that, and there's just so so much that hasn't been collected yet. And also, it's like, not just modern, but also, you know, when it first came out. Yeah, um, this was all, I think these are all read and mature, I believe. Which is good, because that's, that's how I like my Garth Ennis books. Yeah, thin trade. Alright. Next one up is Back to Brooklyn by Garth Ennis and Jimmy Palmiotti. But Jimmy Palmiotti is the story for this one. But Garth Ennis writes it. An artwork by Milhouse Yolkovic. I know it's not Milhouse, but I could not say that when I saw that. That's who it is. And I'll show you the artwork. So none of these got like outrageously good reviews, but I'm a huge Garth Ennis fan. And yes, it is only because it's mainly because I've read his preacher and I really liked that. But I also like this Hitman, which I think is criminally underrated, a like, criminally underrated book. Now this one like only I don't I think this one only collects one through five of. Now so far these are all Amazon. Three others I'll, I'll show I'll tell them I'll tell you guys when we're getting to those the last three, but are from Why Pay More Online, which I highly recommend thus far. I mean, I have that book that almost looks like it's in bad condition, but hopefully not. We'll see in a second here. All right, yeah, one through five of Back to Brooklyn. That's it. So that's that's, that's all of it's included in Back to Brooklyn. And it's weird they gave me this barcode thing. You know, they only do that from third third party sellers. I don't believe it was. Similar little blemish here, but not too bad. Now this one was insanely weird. It went from it started at the Massachusetts facility, which is the one right before mine. Like it was two facilities. And then the one, there was one right before mine, that right, I know I'm going to get that day. And then the one right before it was the Massachusetts one, which I know is one day shipping. Now, this one went from Massachusetts to Texas, back to Massachusetts, to, my, the new, the, to the New Hampshire one, then back to Massachusetts. Then it was so weird. It was like, what the hell is going on with this book? I, I honestly thought they would say, your book has been lost. Or something along those lines. It was insanely weird. But it came in, and it came in. It, was, it came in, actually it came in a day late. It was a day late, which is only only which only would have been annoying if it was today that I got that notification. But today the white pay more lines came in. That was the last to come in. So either way, I was like, you know what? The white pay more lines aren't even in yet. So who the hell cares? Next up, we've got Bloody Mary, uh, the thickest trade I have um, of, of of this collection, I, I believe. Although I think one's technically thicker. We'll do a size comparison. 
but this is because it has 192 pages. And it collects 1 through 4 of Bloody Mary and its sequel series, which I don't know what it's called. And looking at the back here, this looks like Steve Dillon artwork. But it's actually by Carlos Escurada. So we will see. Um, put this, you know what? Uh, I guess I'll do it here. There you go. There we go. Perfect. There you go. That's the artwork for Bloody Mary. And then let's see. I, I did want I did want to be specific. So it's one through four of and then it's one through four of Bloody Mary and then one through four of Blood of Mary Lady Liberty. So let's look at the downstairs now. So I, 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 think I think they're done for the day, but I can't be too sure. Yeah, one through four of each. Now the final three are the ones and I'm just even closer, are the ones from White Pay More Online. Now I'm gonna go to this one first and foremost, just because I have like a there's a little weird thing here that I need to check out. So this is the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, or CBLDF, presents Liberty by a bunch of people. This is a, it's one of those, like, uh, anthology books that Image Comics did, like, with, um, 24 panels, so I'll be checking out from the library again for next time. And also, spit it out. Come on, what is it? It's, come on, almost got it. Where we live. Las Vegas shooting that one, the one I got for Christmas, the, that one. But this one is more of a positive, um, like, why, why, why they're doing the anthology. There's a reason why they're doing anthology. It's, it's to, um, it's for the love of comics, basically. Now, there is a, so, there is a Garth and a story in here. And when I had checked it out from Amazon, or why pay more online, rather, I, for whatever reason, so yeah, there's, there's something. I guess just the way they, the paper that they used, weird. Yeah, nothing wrong with there. Um, but anyways, um, spit it out. Come on, almost got it. It's almost here. And I also want to make sure I'm always centered because sometimes I'm like this, like oh here's the comic, but I want to be like this. Here's the comic, or here's the comic. And I, I, that's what I get. Well, that's what happens. I'm showing the comic. I want to show myself and the comic. And I get like, I'm like okay. Now, uh, so some of you guys have said in the past that, and I know this is getting sidetracked, but I just want to bring up certain things that you guys have brought up in the past. Now, some of you guys say I'm not looking at the camera. I'm cross-eyed. I can't. I can't look at the camera. It's always gonna be a little weird. I'm looking at the camera right now. How does this look? I'm looking at the camera. I want. I want to know how that looks because I'm looking weird. I can't really see myself when I'm looking at the camera, so I want to know how that looks. But anyways, um. The Boys is in here. And I, I already had that in The Boys Omnibus, so I felt so stupid when I ordered it. And I was like, that's why it sounds so familiar. But we have Brian Wood, we have Karen Gillan, Brian Azzarello. So many big names that I like. And, and I need to finish off their collection in the back upstairs from Image Comics. Sorry, right, that's, that's that. Then we got Adventures in the Rifle Brigade, a Garth Ennis uh, war comic, and he's really good at that. So there you go. And so far, these are all M from Shore, which is awesome. Even T or I won't accept. So one through three got Rifle Brigade and Adventures in the Rifle Brigade, Operation Bullock, one through three. Now why did they say these are all from Image? Well, originally I believe it was Bloody yeah, Bloody Mary, this, and the next one were all Vertigo originally. Then they moved on to Image. I guess Garth Anderson was like, hey, I actually want royalties if this ever comes becomes a movie. You guys aren't going to give me royalties, so I'm, I'm going to always to the Image. And apparently DC Vertigo's editor-in-chief was nice back then, back in the day, so he's like, yeah. Actually, it was Karen Burker, so there you go. That's why That's why he was able to do that. Yes, Avengers the Rifle Brigade. And finally, Pride and Joy by John Higg uh, Garth Anderson writes it. John Higgins does the artwork. It's painted artwork, apparently. So let's see how good this looks. Oh. I guess it's painted. Collecting one through four. Very, very thin book. But that, as I say, is that. And all M for Mature, all Image Comics, all Garth Ennis. Yes, I'm including CB, CBLDF. That's it. Ten minutes. 